Hiya people, it's me King, welcome back to King's Pet channel. In this video, I want to show you the basic information that you need to know when starting the game. Be noted that this is an English patch of the Taiwan version, so the name will be different for the English version which will be released as announced mid-year this year 2021. To do that, I am going to open the college handbook icon at the top right just beside the mini-map. This handbook is quite similar to the adventure book if you are familiar with the game Ragnarok Mobile Eternal Love. In this handbook, you can see the overview of your progress. You can see the list of monsters, list of cards and also the cards details, photo album where you need to take picture of certain locations, list of the NPC and your interaction with them. But today, I want to show you the file tab here. This section contains some basic information that can help you to better understand the gameplay. I'll be going through with you the important ones. Starting with this one, experience tips. The roller level is divided into base level and job level. Base level is cumulative. Job level starts from zero with each job change. Both base and job experience can be obtained by killing monsters, participate in commission board, OX, and carnival activities. Increase best level to get quality points to enhance six different attributions of the character. Increase job level to get skill points. At job level 10, you can change to first job. There are six major classes for you to pick. At first job level 50, you can change to second job. There are two options for you to decide. At second job level 50, you can change to second job advance. This is quite different from Ragnarok Mobile Eternal Love where the second job change is at job level 40 and second job advance or the third job in ROM is at job level 70. Next is the monster fighting efficiency. So here it tells you that you will be getting experience bonus if you farm with a team and also with different class in a team. For example, if you have 5 members in a team while farming, your team will get 140% experience from the mobs. If the team member comprises of 5 different classes, your team will get another 120% experience. The final experience value is then divided to the numbers of your team members. Well, this is a topic for another video. Next up is the monster level gap penalty. You will not get experience deduction if you fight the monster within 3 levels more or lesser than your current best level. Let's say you are at best level 20. You will get normal experience when killing mobs that are in the range of level 17 to 23. You will have different experience rate if you hit monsters that are level much more higher or lesser than your current best level as shown in the table. Next is the elemental restraint. This is a chart showing how all of the elements affect each other in terms of damage percentage. The data given here is entirely different from the game ROM. For example, in ROM, a fire element damage will deal 200% or twice the damage to earth element, but for ROX, it is 150%. So for this game, I suggest you to use this chart instead for elemental damage. Alright, next is damage to monster size correction. If you are familiar with Ragnarok game, this will be easy to understand because this is similar to Ragnarok game mechanic. Let me give a quick explanation nonetheless. Monsters in the game are categorized into different sizes, big, medium, and small. Different weapons will deal differently to the monster in terms of damage. For example, if you are a thief class and use dagger as a weapon, you will deal 100% damage to small-sized monster. 
However, you will only deal 75% damage to medium and big size monster. Next up is debuff. In this chart, listed down some negative status ailment, namely burn, curse, dark or blind, poison, bleed, frozen, sleep, and stone. I am not sure if this is all of the debuff available in the game. I feel like this is too little. And also the description is not that detailed. I'm not going to read it all. You can post the video or take a screenshot and read it later on. Okay, next is weather. In ROX, there are different types of weather. This feature not only adds an aesthetic value to the game, but also affects the gameplay differently. There are two categories of weather, common weather and special weather. The common weather does not have special effect on the game, namely cloudy, sunny, sunset, rainbow, and starry sky. The special weather, on the other hand, have different effect depends on the type of weather. Meteor shower, sandstorm, hot scorching sun, thunderstorm, light rain and haze are considered special weather and have different effects on the game. I have translated it for you, you can read the details as shown here. Next is life skill. Life skill is another game system introduced in ROX. Life skill is rather important and shouldn't be neglected in the game. You will find yourself relying on these skills to advance further in the game apart from farming mobs for EXP. Doing all life skills will consume energy, or the other translation for it is vitality. The energy meter will appear next to your avatar when performing life skill. One point of energy is restored when consume one point of Odin's blessing. There are primary and secondary life skills. Primary life skill is more on exploration and collection. The secondary life skill is more on processing and making. Fishing, harvesting, mining, farming, and cooking is self-explanatory, so I will not go into details on that. Next, we have smelting. This skill is used for smelting equipment, which include making, strengthening, refining, and enchanting. Producing skill is to produce pet-related props, which include pet capturing items and foods. The last one, manufacturing skill, which is exclusive only to the merchant class. Alright, let's move on to MVP tips. This infographic here explains on the rewards distribution when hunting MVP or mini boss. There are five types of rewards. The first one, Ray Reward. This is a party damage based reward. The red drop will be randomly distributed to the party members. Ranking Reward. Parties rank in the top 10 will get MVP coin based on the damage dealt. It said here top 10, but at the current close beta test, it is the party's rank in top 3. Maybe it will change when open beta test is live, when there are more players in the game. Next, last hit reward and first hit reward. As the name suggests, the player who dealt the first and the last hit will get 1 MVP coin each. The last one is Participation Reward. Nearby players and those who join the battle will get one MVP coin. Now this is the important part. Each reward can be obtained three times per day and refresh at 5 a.m. every day. This means that players who spam kill the MVP and mini balls will only get three rewards on the same type of reward every day regardless giving the chance to other players to get the reward. Isn't it fair? At least it is for me. Anyway, moving along. Last but not least, the game currency. This is a list of currency that is used in the game. Here you can see where to get the coins and what the specific coins used for. 
take some time to look it through. I can see three gacha there, so I wonder how this will benefit the game. Alright, that's it for this video. If you feel this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. Like the video and share it to your friends, your support are most appreciated. It will give me the motivation to upload more videos about this game. If you have something in mind that you want me to do a video on, please comment down below. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye!